Welcome back to the news. 65 Sri Lankans who sought refuge in South India during the three-decade-long civil war returned home today. News first, Stephanie Lazarus filed this report from the Bandaranaika International Airport today. The arrival doors at the Bandaranaika International Airport slid open this time, not for another group of tourists, but to a group of Sri Lankan refugees who returned home nearly two decades after. I couldn't but help notice how some of the returnees, amounting to 65, clinged on to their precious possessions, coming home to loved ones ready to welcome them with open arms. The eight-hour-long wait of 62-year-old Velu Subramaniam was forgotten as he looked in the eyes of his children who came home to a grandfather they have heard much of but never seen. Those who returned were optimistic despite their ordeal and expressed views to the media with aspiration. The minister in charge, DM Swaminathan, who was at the airport to welcome the group back home, said those who returned will be resettled in the north and east. Yeah, hopefully we will certainly do that because they have come to Sri Lanka knowing because they have made the arrangements. They wouldn't have really come to Sri Lanka unless they have got the arrangements made. But there can be shortfalls, there are issues, so we will certainly look into the matters and act accordingly. The UNHCR facilitated the return of the refugees and reiterated that visibility is key to encourage more returnees. The big significance of this return today is there are people returning in small numbers. We would like to make sure that the visibility is there. We would like to request also to the government to see the possibility of st starting the ferry service in the north because the majority of the Sri Lankan refugees returning home are from the north and east. There are many refugees in southern India still languishing in camps. And Jairani, a middle-aged woman, said that she returned to her motherland to spend the next half of her life. But Pushpavati, aged 87, said she came home to breathe her last. <laughs> <laughs> Bags of expectations, hopes for a better future, engulfed with optimism was evident in the face of those who returned today as Sri Lanka will mark six years following the conflict on the 19th of May. These refugees will bear testament to the resilience the country has shown after a three-decade-long war. As analysts say, much remains to be done, but this will be a start. More than 65 Sri Lankan refugees return home today with a renewed hope and much expectations as they've been promised a better life here in their homeland. As this legitimizes a political order, the question that arises is whether all what they've been promised will be fulfilled. What is really in store for them? Well, as the reintegration process is still ahead, only time will tell. For the News First team, this is Stephanie Lazarus from the BIA.